So this is, I'm 23, he's 62, but I'm not after his money. Spoiler, I think she is after his money. This is 23-year-old Willow. And she what the f- Is this in slow motion? <laughs> this is 23-year-old Willow. Why does it sound like that? He fell in love with 62-year-old oh. David. We met on freaking Tinder. After they became boyfriend and girlfriend within an hour. If this was soccer, you know what I'd be tossing up right now? Red flags. Ew, he's gross. I know he's not even like a like a good looking old man. You know, I, I can get on board if it's like a hot ass old dude. I mean, holy shit, man. Look how far this neck wrinkles going down. It's like excessive like foreskin around his neck. However, he's a rich dude. 40 year age gap has a 40 year age gap. This dude is twice the age of what a parent of hers could be. I, I want after the year there. Before you were there. born. <laughs> Don't. Oh, no. There's nothing worse you can say than telling them how successful your life already was before they were even born. Ew, man. That's so gross. We met online on a dating site, and we have been together today three months. <laughs> Dude, this is like when high schoolers celebrate monthly milestone marks in their relationship. We've been together for a whole month now, so I bought her a teddy bear, and I'm gonna take her out to Olive Garden for a really fancy dinner. Like, at three months, you, you still barely even know each other. Probably hasn't even met her mother, to be honest. My baby just moved in three days ago. We're still unpacking, trying to figure out how much of my closet I'm giving. Oh my god, look how hard he's trying to come off younger than 60 fucking two. My baby just moved into my crib. You are three times <laughs> a grown man act like it please you are at retirement age not too long from now you're gonna be in a fucking convalescent home i was a little concerned about her age because i was like you're really young i have a baby face i do i have a baby face bitch you're 23 you have experienced so little of life we've been to the bahamas like three times in punakana and las vegas twice and Greenbrier. Greenbrier in West Virginia twice. Or Greenbrier, West Virginia. Is it? Aren't these supposed to be flexes of like vacations you've taken? And you're gonna try and flex on me that you've been to fucking West Virginia? Dude, I'd pay money to not go to West Virginia. <laughs> Sorry if anyone in here is from West Virginia, but hey, that state sucks. But I on social media, people like. There it is! If the age gap didn't make you uncomfortable enough, now you can see that they have a cringy ass TikTok name. I hate when people call me a gold digger. Then stop making TikToks about it! And you won't have big headed losers like me making jokes about you on the internet. The golden rule here, you put it on the internet, you cannot get mad if people make jokes about it. Okay, so right off the bat, it looks like their, uh, whatever account they featured on this video got deleted. Let's hate ourselves real quick. You know what she said to me? Okay, so it was just a thirst trap with grandpa on the back. I want to find one that looks uh, appropriate to put... Oh, what is this thumbnail, dude? I'm sorry, what? It's Cowboy and Angel. We're back and headed to Las Vegas. Who's filming this? Anyways, let's watch more of this cringe. Call me a gold digger. Some people say I'm just a sugar daddy. But... I love when they show the comments and the comments are just way funnier than... <laughs> so cute with your dad. It's nice you went to Vegas with your grandpa. Like they tried to find comments on their <laughs> on their TikToks that were like, oh, look how mean people are. But everybody else watching this is probably like, honestly, these comments are better than the shit they're putting out. He's like, yeah, she really reminds me of my daughter. <laughs> I've never seen my daughter smile and be this happy. <laughs> oh man, ew. Here's a good joke. That didn't age well. We have a lot in common. I'm born February 2nd, she's February 3rd. Talk about reaching, holy shit. We have so much in common. Our birthdays are one day apart. <laughs> That's all you had to go off of? A better thing to say, we have so much in common. We're both white. I've definitely dated older men before. They've learned already and you don't have to babysit them. They're courteous. If he wasn't nice to you, the only thing you'd be staying for him is for his money. Oh wait. We're getting ready to go to our anniversary dinner. Have a little anniversary gift, bam. I, we have I have a to know. wine cellar tonight, so I'm excited. I have no idea what that means, Boots. but I'm ready to find out. <laughs> I think the other thing that's also kind of setting me off on this, I hate um her. Like, don't get me wrong, right? She was blessed with fucking really good genes. She would have been Hitler's favorite person. We'll say that. 
I want to know what the present is. I love you. You always take me such fun places. Do you think she would be even remotely as happy in a relationship with someone who's, say, 24, who can't bring her to, I don't know, the Bahamas? Because it does, it feels good to get spoiled like that, so that definitely plays a part into it. Happy anniversary to us. It's not an anniversary. And then, and then changing happy birthday to happy anniversary, that's the most old man shit you can possibly do. What's the present? What did he get her? It's gonna be some stupid piece of jewelry. Oh my god, it's earrings. This... This is exactly how I try to not act when you guys give subs. Have you guys seen Parks and Recreation? The scene where, uh, whatever the doctor's name is in that show, his daughter, she's like, mm, I love you. Money, please. I love you too, daddy. Money, please. Girl wanna change my life. She changed his life because he's never been in debt before until now. She is old enough to drink. <laughs> oh God, that's so disgusting. Red flags, man. I even brought her passport just in case. Passport? What, does she not have an ID? She makes me happy, so what am I gonna do? So I mean, like, if they're happy, they're not hurting anyone. They can be happy. I wish them the best. I hope she gets written into his will, gets 100% of his. <laughs> I am curious why their TikTok got taken down. What am I gonna do? Love me. Love you. Feed you. Take care of you. Dang, isn't that crazy that he just described everything that parents do? Whatever. I hope they're happy. For the sake of my own well-being, I kind of want them to break up. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna Google search them. I want to see if there's controversy. Oh, they have a YouTube channel too? Maybe there's old ones of the one that got taken down. <laughs> from CarMax? <laughs> You're gonna flex on people a car you bought from CarMax, bro? <laughs> that's not a flex. Just got done shopping at CarMax. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why that's so funny. It's not funny. All right, enough of that. <clears throat> oh, God, it feels like salt in an asshole. I, this makes me feel weird. <laughs> Can you imagine if your penis was just a flat, blunt edge? <laughs> oh, uh oh. <laughs> Let's pretend that didn't happen.